All right, if I'm being honest with you guys, I was struggling this week to find an idea for a video. And then I realized I have to edit some clips anyway for TikTok, and then a light bulb went off. Why don't I show you guys how to take your Twitch clips from your streams and edit them for TikTok? I use Adobe Premiere Pro for all of my video edits, like the YouTube video that you're watching right now and my TikToks. And so that's what we're gonna be using in today's video, but any video editor, a Filmora or iMovie, any free ones as well will work. And before you come at me and say, Doro, I'm too old for TikTok or TikTok is cringy. I get it. And I know it can be, but if you'd give TikTok a chance and you let the algorithm learn what you like, all that cringe, all that stuff that you don't like won't be there. And trust me, guys, TikTok is underrated. There's a lot of growth potential from TikTok. And that's honestly a different video for a different time. Just trust me, I've had a lot of viewers come into my streams from my TikTok because I've actually had a few videos get quite popular on that platform. So all I ask is just give it a chance and see because you never know, you might be the next big thing and you might blow up on there and then you'll be able to bring all of those followers to your streams and then grow there as well. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a like down below and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. It shows me that you actually like these types of videos and you want me to make more of them for you. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to four central standard time. And if you have any questions that weren't answered in today's video, just come on by my stream and I can answer them for you there. But anyway, let's jump on over my desktop and I'll show you how to take your Twitch clips and edit them for TikTok. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. I'm going to show you how you can find your videos and your clips and how to download them before we throw them into the editor. So if you're on your Twitch channel, go up to the top right and go down to where it says video producer. Click on that and then here are all of your past broadcasts and videos. And if you wanna download the whole broadcast, you can actually go to the right hand side where these little dots are. Click on that and then click on download. But if you wanna download a specific clip that a viewer has made or you've made, can go over to the left hand side where it says clips click on that and then here are all the clips that you have made and your viewers have made and if you want to download one just click on it and then click on the share button and then the first purple download button click that and you'll download your clip and it's that easy so once you have your clip downloaded i already have one on my desktop we're going to throw it into adobe premiere pro and i'll show you how i edit them for tiktok Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna go over to the left-hand side and click on new project. All of these settings right here, I keep standard. I never mess with them. And we're gonna title it, um, TikTok video. And then click on okay. And then it's gonna bring us into the editor itself. Okay, so I made the window smaller so it's easier for us to see. So all you have to do is find your clip. I have mine on my desktop right here. And then I'm just gonna drag it into the the timeline and there it is dropped in right there editing is super easy once you get the hang of it especially if you do it a lot um and for tiktok the way i like to edit my videos is i like to have three different layers one being a blurred background and then having my webcam at the bottom centered with a circle around it and then the main gameplay in the middle i'll show you what i'm talking about here in a second you probably see that a lot in TikTok with a lot of Twitch streamers and Call of Duty streamers as well. So what I'm going to do is on my keyboard for Windows, I'm going to hold left alt and then scroll wheel forward. I can zoom in on my timeline right here. So I'm going to play the clip real quick just to see what I'm working with. And then from there, we're going to start editing. OK, so that's our clip right there. So what we want to do first is we want to change the resolution and the size of the video. So with TikTok, it's 900 by 1600. So with Adobe Premiere Pro, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first make sure our track is highlighted. We're gonna go to the top left where it says sequence and then click on sequence settings. And then where it says frame size, I'm gonna change this to 900 and then the other one to 1600. I, would, I don't mess with anything else and we're gonna click okay. Click OK again. And then as you can see here, it's like the shape of a phone. 
So now if we play it, this is what it would look like if I didn't change anything or move anything around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold alt again, and then I'm going to click and drag the timeline up. So hold alt, click, drag up, and then you can see it duplicated the track. I'm going to do it one more time because we want three of them. There we go. So now we have three different tracks. They're all layered on top of each other. I haven't moved anything yet and we're going to start. So with the bottom track, you click on edit on top effect controls. Uh, we're going to click on this drop down menu for uh, video. And then if I move this scale up, you can see that it zooms in and out. So this is our lowest layer. So I'm going to make it just big enough to cover the whole screen. And then what I'm going to do, because that's going to be our layer that we blur out. So if I go to the top and then click on effects and then go to video effects on the right, we're going to go down to where it says blur and sharpen. Click on that. And then you're looking for Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur. Click and drag that onto the edited timeline that we're making. So the bottom one. And now it's in there. So then if we go back to the editing tab right here, you can see that the Gaussian blur, or the Gaussian blur has been added. So now what I like to do for the blurriness, I choose 50. And there you go. Now you can see our bottom layer is blurred to 50. So that's step one. Now step two, for our second layer, our middle layer, that is going to be our gameplay. With this guy right here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna resize it. And I'm gonna resize it. So as you can see right here, you can see that, you can see my webcam right there, right? I don't want that to be shown. So I'm going to make it just big enough where my webcam is out of the border and it just shows gameplay. It's gonna be zoomed in, of course, but that's not really the point. We just don't want our webcam to show on this uh, on this layer. So if I set right there, okay. And I'm gonna make this a hundred, and I can see my border is right out of reach. There, right there. perfect. And now for our last step, our top layer. This is gonna be our webcam. I'm going to center it and then bring it down and I'm gonna throw a mask on there to make it a circle. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for our top layer right here, this is gonna be our webcam. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna move this down over to the right and we're gonna make it big. So I'm just gonna center it like this, perfect. I just eyeball my webcam right here. There we go, that looks about center. Then I'm gonna bring it up around here. Okay, so now our webcam is centered in the bottom. Uh, you can put it anywhere, you can put it up top or wherever you like. I just like to center it on the bottom. Now this is the important part right here. So with this track still selected, we are going to go over to the left hand side and click on the FX opacity. And we're going to click on this circle. And now you can see it created a circle right here. So this is the mask. So whatever is inside this circle on this layer will show everything outside. It won't show. And so I'm going to put this circle right here. I'm going to resize it so that it just shows me this. We make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, this is important as well. I like to turn this mask feather to zero, so that it's a sharper edge for the circle and not a blurry edge. But whatever suits you, go for it. And there you go. That's pretty much it, actually. I also do like to add one other thing. I have this saved on my desktop. Uh, I created this in Canva. Uh, you can create it in Photoshop or on Bizarre or any photo editing software that you use. Um, but I 
created like a little logo that I like to throw on my TikToks. I'm gonna put that on the top layer right there. And then I'm gonna make sure to highlight it. And then you see this little red arrow that pops up. I'm going to extend it all the way to the end so that it's there for the entire video. And then we're gonna make the scale a little bit smaller. Right there, about that. Then actually this, move this up right here to the top. Let me move it a little bit. There we go, just eyeball that. There we go. And that's how I make my TikTok. So now if we play this, so that's pretty much it. That's like the setup for how my TikToks look. So it's three layers, like I said, and then one is blurred and it covers the whole back. And then the second layer, that middle layer is our gameplay. And then our third and top layer is our webcam that we put a mask on to have that circle effect. And it's that simple. And then from here, you guys can edit it even more. Um, and I'm probably gonna edit it a little bit more. I'll probably fast forward through this part of the video. Um, and I'm just gonna do some edits. So once you're done, what I like to do is I like to select all in Adobe Premiere Pro and then click on the question mark button. And then it'll only select up to uh, what we've edited. So nothing past that. I do this just to make sure I'm getting everything that I put in and edited so that it doesn't miss anything in the export. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top left where it says file, go down to where it says export and then click on media. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to change this format to H264. You want to make sure it's H264 for TikTok or pretty much any video, honestly. And then we want to make sure that export video and export audio are both checked. And then down here, I'm going to scroll down. I always click on render at maximum depth. And then I do performance on hardware encoding and scroll down even more. And then right here where it says bitrate encoding, I always select VBR two pass, meaning the encoder is going to go over the video twice so that it's higher quality for your export. And then I put these numbers all the way up because my hardware can do that. It is going to take longer for you to export your video though. So just keep that in mind and make sure you have a strong enough CPU to handle this. 50 is a little bit overkill, but I have the hardware, so I just do it. And then down here where it says use maximum render quality, I select that. And then after that, you just click export and then it exports your video. I'm not gonna do it now because I'm recording right now and I don't wanna put that much stress on my CPU. But after that, I use OneDrive and I have the OneDrive app on my iPhone. And then you can just upload to TikTok from there. I hope you found that helpful. And if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below or live on stream. All right, guys. So after that, you should know how to take your Twitch clips, edit them and post them to TikTok. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave a like down below and also leave a comment and let me know. Are you on TikTok? Why or why not? I'd love to know. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you live on Twitch.